I have somehow learned that there is a particular loan relating to food that you took. Yeah. And I raise these things because many people in South Africa are poor and they could be inspired not to lose hope no matter their circumstances if they were to hear your story considering the position that you have been nominated for. Tell us about that loan. Thank you, Chief Justice. When I finished metric, I was quite confident that I would get what used to be called then exemption and therefore would qualify to go into university. I, I didn't think I would have a problem with getting that and I was confident that I was going to get a bursary too. But my problem was that uh, at home the situation was quite bad. My mother had stopped working uh, two years before my matric. She had uh, lost her job. And, uh, and uh, by the time I uh, finished what would now be called grade 11, she said she had exhausted all her savings. And uh, so somehow I felt that uh, the society, the community would be thinking that after metric I would now be able to go and work and help my mother, who, whom the whole community could see was struggling. But I wanted to go and do law, and I was determined, but I felt that I couldn't go unless I made arrangements to make sure that my mother and my, my brothers and sisters behind would be able to have something to eat. And my mother was not working, she was selling, she was knitting and selling jerseys, but that wasn't um, uh, going well. So I decided one Saturday to go to Ikopo, to town, and I approached a certain Indian businessman who owned a certain wholesale shop. I told him uh, my story, said I wanted to do, go to university and study, but this is the problem. Is there any way he could give me a loan which I would use to support my mother and my siblings? so that after, after I finished my degree, I could then pay him back. Very interestingly, that man uh, didn't even ask me many questions. He said, okay, I can help you, but I can't give you money. I'll give you a voucher, which you must give to your mom. Every, once a month, she must come to my shop, and uh, she will be given groceries up to the value, I think, I think it was 20 rand, if I'm not mistaken. 20 rand or 40 rand, but that was a lot a long of money time back then. Uh, yeah, it was quite some money then. And uh, she said, he said, until you finish your degree, this is what we'll do, and then you can repay it after your degree. So uh, I was very happy. He didn't ask me to sign anything, he just took my word. And uh, my mom could not believe it when I came back from town and told her that. I had been able to make arrangements so that they would be able to have groceries while I was studying. And uh, that is what happened for three years. And when I'd finished my junior degree, I went back to uh, this man, his name was Mr. Musa, and uh, thanked him and asked him what arrangements we could make for me to pay back. So <clears throat> he said, no, don't worry. Just do to others what I've done to you. And, uh, and uh, I thought that was very important. And uh, in my own small way, I tried to do that. Until now. Yes, Chief Justice. Now, 